First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to the Akim pushing his truth in sincerity by Shem Rokakwadash. This video is going to be entitled Our Heavenly Father. And what inspired me to do this video was a conversation that I had with my son. Okay. And, um, you know, I was basically um, correcting him. You know, and, you know, us as fathers, we have to correct our sons constantly, you know, because they, they, they don't know any better. You know, they haven't reached, you know, the age of, of being men. I'm speaking about young, young sons and, and even and even, uh, uh, you know, if you're an older man and your son is, is uh, a man already, you know, uh. You, you know, you still have to correct your son, man. And um, I, I was wondering, you know, uh, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, man, I, I got to correct this boy a lot, you know. And, and it hit me at that moment that if I have to correct my son a lot, how much more, okay, does he how Bashimi Ashai have to correct me, you know. So that's the, that's what this lesson is going to be about. All right, it's it's going to be entitled "Our Heavenly Father," and I want to start here. Let's get this in the book of John five and nineteen. It says, "Then entered Yahweh Shai and said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, the Son can do nothing of himself. You see, the Son can do nothing of himself. So Yahweh Shai was saying, he's like, I I can't do nothing. You know, that I'm basically not doing my own will." You know, I'm doing the Father's will. Okay? It says, but what he see at the Father do. He's like, you know, but but I I, I, I do what 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 the what my father does, you know. For what things soever he doeth, these also do with the son likewise. You see, so whatever uh the father do did, you know, does the you know, Yahushua was like, Man, I do what he does. You know, and and that's that's quite the the the, the truth. You know, even us, what, what our children do, you no, know, Salaki, what we do, our children are going to mimic. And they don't they don't just go off what we say. They go off what we they, what we do. OK, and the perfect example, OK, that you wish I had was who his father. You see. Let's get this it says for what so so for. For what things soever he doeth, these also doeth the son likewise. Let's get this word doeth. Strong's G, 4160. Poeo. Poeo. To be the authors of the cause. Okay. To be the authors of the cause. Okay, so. Salakia. All right, so basically, the Most High, okay, He is basically the cause of it all, okay. He had the cause. He he had the the ultimate master plan, and Yahweh was just following, okay, the, that His Father's plan. Okay, it says to make a thing out of something, right? constitute or appoint one anything to appoint or ordain one that right the most high he appointed Yahweh shy to what you know to to basically reconcile israel to him to appoint or ordain one that right he appointed him to be the second in command okay right declare one anything so whatever the the father did he declared Yahweh shy to do it right it says to make one do something Okay. To act rightly, to do well. So the most high basically was an example to Yahweh Shai. Okay, like like a father should be an example to their sons. Okay. So basically, you know, there was order, you know, just like there has to be order. Um, a father with his son, you know, there, there's there's order. Yahweh Shai with his father and us with Yahweh Shai. 
Let's, let's go on. It says, For the Father loveth the Son, and sheweth him all things that himself doeth, and he will shew him greater works than these that ye may marvel. Okay? So the Father loveth the Son, and sheweth him all things. So the Most High, he, he was pleased in Yahweh Shai, and he shewed him all things. You know? Judgment was given into his hand, and, and, he, and he showed him all things. Let's look at this word, sheweth. Strong's G, 1166. Dike Nuo. Dike Nuo. To show, expose to the eyes, to give evidence or proof of a thing, to show by words or teach. You see? To show by words or teach. So the Most High, hey, he showed Yahweh Shai, okay, uh, what to do, he, you know, how to create the earth, how to create things. And, and, and Yahweh Shai did it, okay? He taught him. Okay, he, he, he showed him the, what, what he must do, you know. It says, and he will show him greater works than these that ye may marvel. Right, so, you know, he he uh, he basically um, made Yahweh an example, okay, by raising him up from the dead. Okay, so, you know, Yahweh came to fulfill his father's plan, just like we come to fulfill, okay, the plan of our Heavenly Father. Okay, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, because we know that they are one. Okay. Now, let's get this. Where's it gonna go? Yeah, this is First Corinthians eleven and three. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach. And the head of the woman is the man, and the head of the Hamashiach is the Most High. So you see, there's order, man. You know, we, our head, okay, is Hamashiach, Yahushai, and, and his head is the Most High. Okay, so there, there, there has to be obedience, you know. And when you obey, you know, your, you know, your, your, your heavenly Father, okay, you, you bring joy. You know, you, you, you know, they sup with you, you know, when you obey a father, what, you know, he, he rewards you. Okay. He, he, you know, he basically, uh, he deals with you, you know, so just like. We ask obedience of our sons. A hey, Yahweh Bashim Yashai asks obedience of us. Okay. So I can't keep. Let's get this. This is Malachi 1 and 6. It says, A son honoreth his father. Let's get this word honoreth real quick. Whoops. Wow. Honoreth. To make honorable, honor, glorify. Right. Right, you glorify, you know, your father. A son glorifieth his father, basically, and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is mine honor? You see? So if if the Most High is a father, where is his honor? Okay? It says, saith Yahweh of hosts unto you, O priest that despise my name, and ye say, wherein have we despised thy name? You know, and sometimes, you know, we say um, unto the Most High, where, where, where have we went wrong? You know, just like our kids tell us, hey, where did we go wrong? And, and you tell them, hey, well, you're supposed to honor me, you see? So we're supposed to honor our Heavenly Father too, okay? And we honor Him by what? By uh, following Yahweh Shai, all right? Let's see. Let 
Now, this couple scriptures, let's see. Let's just get this one for time's sake. This is um, uh, John 14 and 12. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Okay? If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Okay? So, whatever you ask in the name of Yahweh Shai, he will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. So, you honor the Son, you honor the Father. Okay? You honor the words and the things that Yahweh Shai say, then you honor the Father. Just like, you know, you ask honor from your Son. Okay? That he glorifies you and honors you. You know what I'm saying? And you are a, a follower of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, it, it's, all to, it, it, it's all in unison, man. Because we just read that the head of the man is Hamashiach and the head of Hamashiach is, is, is the most high. Okay? So where's the fear? You know, just like, you know, you, you, you want your kids to be in line. Hey, we got to be in line. We are the children of, of, of uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. This is John 14 and 20. And at that day, ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. You see? All right? And, and, and you come into this knowledge, you know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, it, it, it is in agreement. And, and you as a man have to be in agreement with who? With your Heavenly Father. Okay? Because the Lord requires fear. You know? We read that. A son honoreth his father, and a servant his master. If then I be a father, where is mine honor? Okay, where is my fear, saith the Lord of hosts unto you? So you have to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. Salakia. I keep getting that. This is the book of um, Deuteronomy 8 and 5. It says, Thou shalt also consider in thine heart that as a man chasteneth his son, so Yahweh chasten it thee okay or well, consider that in your mind okay that as a man he chastens his son he corrects his son hey Yahweh Bashim Yashai will correct you you have to keep that in mind that he deal with you as a son and it says therefore thou shalt keep the commandments of Yahweh thy power to walk in his ways and to fear him you see so we have to keep the commandments of, of our Heavenly Father because He is our Heavenly Father. Okay? And, and the Heavenly Father is going to chasten you. You know? This is, um, let's get this, Proverbs 13 and 24. He that spared his rod hateth his son, but he that loveth him chasteneth him be times. Right? So if you, if you spare the rod to your son, that's because you hate your son. But he that loveth him, chasteneth him be times, right? But if you love your son, you're going to chasten him be times, you know, often, meaning often, just like the Lord does us, you know, because if you don't fear, if you're not walking in wisdom, then the Lord has to chastise you. The Lord has to, um, you know, set you down and let you know, you know, where you go off, you know, and that can come in through um, rebuke. It comes in through reproof. You know, it comes in through, you know, trials, tribulations, afflictions. These things happen for what? For you to understand that the Lord, he's dealing with you. Okay? Because, hey, the Lord loveth whom he chasteneth. Okay? Let's get this. This is Hebrews 5 and 8. It says, uh, let's start here in 7. It says, who in the days of his flesh... Speaking of Yahweh when he had offered up prayers and supplications, right? He was praying and begging with strong crying and tears unto him that was able to save him from death. Okay, which was who? He, he was crying to the Most High, his father, and was heard in that he feared, right? 
he feared the most high. That's why he, he did his will to the T. Okay. Though he were a son, you see, Yahweh was a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. Okay. So when you suffer, hey, you learn obedience. You know what I'm saying? How many times have our fathers chastened us and we learned like, man, that's, you know, my, you know, you think your father's rough. You know, you think your father was unjust, but hey, it takes time for, for a man to recognize, hey, this is for your benefit, you see? So, you learn obedience by the things ye suffer. It says, and being made perfect, see, and you be made perfect, okay? That's the thing. You have to firmly believe that the things that you go through are are, are purging out of, purging things out of you, you know? And, 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 you know, one thing that I've noticed in this walk is that when you get purged, it, you're, you're not going to come out um, perfect one day to the next. You have to be made perfect. It, it, it's a process. It takes time. You know, how often do how often did our fathers tell us about things that we were doing? Just like we tell our sons over and over again. The most I has to constantly, constantly, um, you know. Chasten us, you see? Nine verse, and being made perfect, he became the author of eternal salvation unto all them that obey him, you see? He is the author of eternal salvation to those that obey him. Let's get this. This is the book of Hebrews 12 and 9. It says, furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, right? We've had, we all have had fathers which corrected us. And we gave them reverence. All right. So just like, um, you know, your father corrects you and you reverence him. It says, shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits and live? Okay. The father of spirits. Okay. We should be rather in subjection to Yahweh so that we may live. Okay. For they verily for a few days chasten us after their own pleasure. Right. You get grounded. You know, can't use the car, can't go out, can't talk on the phone, you know, whatever the case may be. After a few days, you know, after how they felt, after they they uh, they thought suit, it says that it says, but he for our prophet, see, the Lord's doing this for our prophet, that we may be partakers of his holiness, you see. Because he also went through it. You know, Yahweh Shai, he, 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 he was chastened by the rod of men, okay? You know, he went off as Solomon. So when he came on the earth, although he was perfect, he still had to pay for his sins, okay? So we also have to pay for our sins, okay? It's for our profit, you know? We get, we get chastened and, you know, the scriptures say, a man of understanding knoweth when he slippeth. So you have to take heed. That's why the scriptures also speak about examining yourself. Examine yourself, whether ye be in the faith. Okay? Because it's for your profit. You know, you can't really be upset. You have to just deal with it. It's going to go into that. Okay? Now, no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward, it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them that are exercised thereby. Right? When you go through chastisement, and it's not really, it's not, it's not fun. It's not, it's not something you want to go through. You know, you, you, you feel it in your spirit. You feel vexed, you know, for going off or for whatever the case may be. It says, but nevertheless, afterward, it yielded the peaceable fruit of righteousness. But afterwards, the Lord smooths things out and you gain understanding and knowledge. Okay. It says, unto who? Unto those that are exercised thereby. But what does it say up here? And who, who is exercised thereby? Or well, everyone. Everyone goes through it. You know, you know, you're not the only one. It says, Hebrews 12 and 5. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. Right, because we are children in the eyes of Yahweh Shai. My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, and that's a heavy, that's a heavy scripture, you know. And that's that you know majority of what we go through, you know, is chastening. You know, it's a lot of correction being in this in this ministry, you know, and 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 uh, some sometimes it's open, 
correction. Sometimes it's 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 you and your own personal walk. But nonetheless, everyone goes through it, you know, because we are being molded day by day, you know. And ultimately, if you're part of that elect, you know, the Lord already died for your sins, but you have to go through it, you know, because you're still in the flesh. You have to still be told constantly. You have to be shown. Yeah, the Lord, the scriptures, hey, there's a, there's a scripture, um, I forget where it's at. It says, who, te who, te who teacheth like the Lord? Okay, the Lord has many ways to teach. That's why the Lord gives us his, of his spirit so that we, we can see, we have the wisdom to understand. Oh, okay, now I see what, I see what my father's telling me. I, I get it. You see, it says, my son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. Right, don't fall out. You know, don't pass out. This is for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. Let me read that again. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. Okay? And, 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 and in the, uh, the Christian church, and, and before we came into this knowledge, what, what, do, you, what do you say? Oh, when you're going through things, it's because God ain't with you. But you know what? That's not necessarily the case. Okay? The thing is, is that you get chastened because you are hopefully a member of the elect. And I say hopefully because we are prisoners of hope. It says, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. You see? So whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth. Let's get this. It just came to mind right now. This is uh, Revelation 3 and 19. It says, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Let's get this in the NLT. It says, I correct and discipline everyone I love. So be diligent and turn from your indifference. You see? So... You know, don't get it twisted, man. The Lord loves you. That's why he chastens you. All right. Yeah, don't don't get it. Um, don't get it twisted. The Lord loveth. Those that he chastens, be zealous, therefore, you know, be be um, be full of that righteousness you know, indignation towards yourself and repent. Show repentance, man. Let that let that, that laughter turn into mourning. All right, it says, um, let's go back. This is a... Uh, the Hebrews. Salakin. Seven, I'm gonna continue on. It says, If ye endure chastening, the most high deal with you as with sons, right? See, because you know what happens with them, them when you know, you remember back them days when, um, them days when, uh, you know, you, you see a lot of Edomites, man, they you know, they get chastened by their parents. What do they do? They they uh, they forsake their parents. You know, they forsake their parents because they can't endure. You know, you know, they say, oh, they're right and their parents are wrong, you know. But that's not to be so with us. We have to endure chastening by our Heavenly Father. By Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. It says, if you endure chastening, the Most High dealeth with you as with sons. You see, the Lord is dealing with you as a son. You know, you you're, you chastise your son. Your son ain't gonna just you know forsake you. Oh man, you chastised me. I'm out. Nah, you know. Or what son is he whom the father chastised not? Right? What son does not receive chastening, man? You know, only a rebellious son. All right. It says, but if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons, right? So if you don't get corrected, if 
you don't get chastised, if you don't endure, you know what I'm saying, and you rebel, you know, you're basically a bastard. The Lord's not going to deal with you. The Lord ain't with you, man. And and you see that. You see that in the truth. You know, dudes that get corrected and whatever, they just totally like, you know, they rebel. You know, that that's that's not what we are to do. It says, but if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons? Right. So if you don't partake in chastisement, man, you're a bastard. You're not a son. Okay. So, you know, that's what it is. And we have to remember these things. You know, we have to remember that Yahweh Bashem Shai. Okay, dealing with us as as sons, man. We have a heavenly father, you know. We have Yahweh, okay, that has given all judgment to his son Yahweh Shai, and they are in one. They agree. The Lord has set up Yahweh Shai and given them all judgment. So we go to Yahweh Shai. Okay, he was obedient to his father. You know, and we had earthly fathers that chastise us. Okay, how much more being subjection to the father of spirits and live? Okay. So that was about it. Lord willing, the point was made and it was edifying. You know, we're going to go through things, you know, just like, uh, you know, you look at your little ones, you know, and you tell them certain things, you know, and you want them to obey. Hey, well, the Lord wants his fear. The Lord wants him, you know, you to obey. You know, how many times, um, you know, think back, think back when you were growing up, man. How many times did your father tell you? I remember, man, when I think back, man, it's, I was a hard headed man, you know. But uh, see, that's why we have to be chastised, man. We gotta get, we gotta take. The Lord has to take all that out. You know what I'm saying the Lord has to correct, you know, every every little thing that He don't like. You, you know, situations arise, things happen where you're just like, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you, know, you know, you get corrected. You know what I'm saying? You're like, okay. Well, you know, the Lord wants me to walk this way. You know that that was a mistake, and you're not gonna you're not gonna walk in this truth and not and not get told. About you, your mistakes. It doesn't work like that. We all, we all are partakers, man. Okay, but we have to be obedient to who? To our heavenly Father. All right. So, Lord willing, this is edifying. All right. I want to say, Brak the Yahweh, Brak the Yahushai, Brak the Yahweh, Brak the Yahushai, Brak the Yahweh, Brak the Yahushai. Shalom.